A former congressman and San Antonio judge caught in the act again. Pictures show Cyril Rodriguez campaigning for his daughter, a candidate for the Texas Senate, even though state law forbids that. And just weeks after he said he wouldn't do it anymore. As the night team's Dylan Collier discovered, the campaign of Sochi Peña Rodriguez, now also hampered by questionable political contributions, also linked to her father. It's tonight's Defenders Report. Judge? Hi, Dylan with KSAT 12. The last time we spoke with Justice of the Peace Ciro Rodriguez, we pointed out the state code of judicial conduct, which bans Texas judges like him from endorsing or campaigning for specific political candidates, like his daughter, Sochi Pena Rodriguez, a Democrat running for State Senate District 19, and someone who was time and again seen next to her father in political settings last fall. Uh, today, uh, we were in uh, Maverick County. Yesterday, we were in, in Nevada. Rodriguez eventually apologized on the phone for his actions and said he wouldn't do it again. So imagine our surprise one month later when these photos were taken of Ciro putting up campaign signs for Sochi in Eagle Pass. Or just last month when Uvalde County Commissioner Ronald Ronnie Garza posed with Ciro while wearing a Sochi campaign shirt and wrote that the pair was meeting to, quote, coordinate efforts for Sochi's campaign. In a phone call with the defenders earlier this month, Garza confirmed the meeting took place, then hung up because he said he had to take another call. In this seat, has a history of unethical and illegal violations. Freddie Ramirez is one of Peña Rodriguez's opponents in next month's Democratic primary. I say they because they've both been complicit in it. Roland Gutierrez is Peña Rodriguez's other Democratic opponent. It's really simple. All he has to do is resign his position because the taxpayers of this community are paying him right now to travel and support her and endorse her in all these other counties. State campaign finance records show from late August to the day after Christmas, Peña Rodriguez accepted $125,000 in loans from her mother Carolina, a significant sum for a state Senate race. And while it's difficult to link Ciro to that money, it's not difficult to link him to the in-kind contributions month after month of office space donated to Sochi. Sources say the office is on the southeast Bear County compound that appraisal records show Ciro co-owns with Catalina. But the form only lists her mother's name. And then there's this text message last fall from Sochi's campaign manager promoting a fundraising breakfast for Sochi hosted at a home owned by Ciro and Catalina. This is pretty clear cut. You know, these rules are in place for a reason. He's very clearly breaking the rules. Anthony Gutierrez is the executive director of Common Cause Texas and ironically a former Rodriguez campaign staff member from his days in the United States Congress. You certainly cannot give contributions, including in-kind contributions to, uh, you know, from a judge to a candidate for public office. Um, those things seem to have happened. They seem to continue happening. They need to stop and uh, authorities need to be looking at this. It was time to ask the candidate herself some questions. Is your father still campaigning on your behalf? Through a spokeswoman, Peña Rodriguez agreed to a sit-down interview, then canceled less than a day before we were scheduled to shoot it. We instead got a written statement from Peña Rodriguez that reads in part, while I don't think anyone is surprised to hear that a proud parent has spoken about their only child who is now running to represent the district she was born and raised in. The bottom line is that if mistakes were made by my campaign, I will fix them and ensure they don't happen again. I think as a public servant or someone seeking to be elected to office, you have to be willing to admit when you make a mistake and take action to fix it. In regards to my father and whether or not given his current role, he made his own mistakes by helping or saying positive things about me, his daughter. Well, first, he's my father and you know he's proud of me. But second, he said he's responsible for his own actions. Peña Rodriguez at some point may be hearing from the Texas Ethics Commission which late last month received the following sworn complaint, accusing the candidate of failing to disclose the names of all of her donors or their actual addresses, claiming Peña Rodriguez is attempting to hide the true source of the funds. You know, it begs the question, is this prophetic of the type of senator she would be if elected to allow these type of unethical, illegal behaviors to occur? And that's exactly what a political strategist told us, that this is indicative of what's going to come should she make it into office. And I think that should be a fear for voters. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.
Judge Rodriguez hung up on Dillon when reached for comment last week. The winner of next month's Democratic primary will face incumbent Pete Flores in November.